Welcome back. Today, today we're indoors. There's no rain, there's no jungle. Let's talk about single correction paradigm. Call it whatever you want. I came up with weird names for it before. Mainly the idea is, can you use one pair of glasses for all of your vision needs? Distance and glossy up. This is a topic that I feel like we've covered eight billion times so far and still I get regular questions from from new members and back to 2020 and in the forum and I, every so often in the Facebook group and email people keep asking me can I just use one pair of glasses can I can I Jake and to briefly again wrap this into another way of maybe explaining it is distance correction right gives you good distance vision right like whatever diopters you need to see nicely at a distance are too many diopters to see well up close right you're overcorrected you're getting hyperopic to focus if you're not familiar with that look that up in google scholar that's what gives you or that's what the stimulus that may induce increasing myopia increasing axial length of your eyeball so you absolutely do not want to wear distance glasses for close-up now, you, so you can't choose the, this, this whole single correction idea. One set of doctors for everything doesn't work if you're using distance vision for close-up. That's how people get progressing myopia all the time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, what if you just used what we call differentials, so the glasses that only give you clear vision up to the distance of your computer screen, right? Because that's all you really, really, really should be using when you're in close-up mode. Right? And that's only for the average person that's 60 to 80 centimeter distance from where you're sitting, where your face is to your screen. 60 to 80 centimeters, if you have any experience with this, those glasses don't give you adequate distance vision. You're not going to recognize your friends. You're not going to be able to read the menu over the barista's head at the coffee shop. You're definitely not going to be able to drive safely. So that correction is too low. So what do you do? people have tried to come up with this idea of some in-between thing, right? Because we are always trying to find another shortcut, which I appreciate. I'm all about shortcuts, whatever is the shortest, quickest way to get to the goal. I'm a huge fan of. The in-between thing is giving you the worst of both distances, right? And you can't really see well enough, far enough, and you're still getting a little bit of overcorrection for your close-up, invariably, right? Because if you're, if you're going for the in-between distance, now you're you're still seeing completely clearly at your computer distance screen, right? But you're not seeing quite clearly enough at a distance. It doesn't work. The other thing that happens is you're now you're not getting the close-up stimulus, right? Like you can't practice focus, active focus during close-up. You're getting more ciliary spasm, hyperopic to focus we already talked about. But also for distance vision, you're much more likely to just become what I refer to as blur habituation, which is not the scientifically equal term but basically you're getting used to blur in a distance so instead of seeing clearly enough to where you want to clear up the distance sign where you're encouraging that habit of better distance clear vision active focus you're much more likely to just go yeah it's blurry because you're not actively thinking about this all the time right so it has to be habits Habits have to be built for you to just go, okay, I'm outside. I'm now trying to clear up the things around me. Just too much blur. The habit becomes just being used to blur, being habituated to blur. So that one in between thing, it just doesn't work, right? And again, once you get used to having two pairs, one for close up and one for distance, most of our time is spent pretty consistently, right? Like if you're sitting in front of a computer, you're going to sit in front of the computer for a while. Just use close up glasses, right? And when you're for everything else, because that question also comes up, use your distance glasses. They should be slightly undercorrected anyway. Good enough, but giving you a little bit of challenge. That's the right way. And there is about a 1.5 diopter gap for most people between the close up and the distance, which if you think about it, 1.5 diopters is quite a bit. That's all of starting myopia for most people. Like that's the glasses that you need just for distance vision. That's the gap between close up and distance on average, right? So 
No, you can't get away. You cannot get away with only one pair of the glasses. So this video, pretty specifically, I'm making kind of for myself, for you, so I can send out the link whenever I get this question of, but can I just use my pair of glasses? Which sometimes temporarily it works. Every situation is individual. These, all these things I'm putting out there are just starting points. What is relevant for most people, what works for most people, what makes your life easier in most cases, just to get back to this state where you don't need glasses for close up or distance vision. That's it for this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one soon because again, I'm now in places where it's easy to record and easy to upload. So we'll have lots more topics that have been pending for a while. See you in the next one. <laughs> Meow, 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 meow.